the last discussion is up until here, right? This Q lines. I think I've I not entirely a mistake, but I'm skipping some parts because I realized that you are asking the parallel intersection, right? Like two days ago. So I'm skipping the parallel actually. So this part, uh, this L1 equal L2, this is to find the intersection. I will tell you how exactly what you need to do if you get the similar questions. So first, if you want to know whether it is uh, parallel or not, you just see the direction factors, okay? Direction factors, you can see from L1 and L2, the direction is the parametric, the T and S in here. Okay? So T and S here, right? Uh, T and also S, T and also S, okay? So let's try to make a ratio between L1 uh, and L2. So first, the T is only one in L1, right, in X. So one over two equal three over one. And then uh, negative one and then four. So, based on what you see here, of course, this is not correct, right? That's why it's not parallel. But you can jump, okay? You can jump the parallel sections, go directly to the intersections. If it is not intersect, then probably it's not parallel. Okay. If it's just asking, uh, is it a skew? Then you can go directly to find the intersection. If you cannot find the intersection, then it's skew lines. Okay, okay hello. Okay, good afternoon. <laughs> okay, so find the L1 and L2. I will give you um, another example, okay? Another example to, to give you a, a more insight of what you need to do, okay? So I will give you another question. Um, let's try L1 is uh, X, L2, uh, no, Y, and Z, and I just also have L2. So the first, the first one, the L1 is, the parameter is T, okay, T, and the L2 is S, the parameter. And then, how you solve this, uh, if the, it is asking uh, parallel, intersecting or not, and then skew lines or not. So first, okay, I will give you the uh, uh, directions. A test for pa parallel. So I will write in here. Uh, you need to check. Check the. We call the direction numbers. Okay. Remember with the A, B, C. That's the direction numbers, which means it is the constant beside the parameter variable. It can be T, S, and you see the constant beside that parameter. That's the direction numbers, okay? So take the ratio. You can take the ratio. You can use the ratio L2 over L1 or L1 over L2. Um, doesn't really matter. So try this ratio and try in all three axes. Hmm? Yeah, the minus include. So we can see here, this is 2 and 4, uh, negative 1 and negative 2, right? This is positive 3 and 5. 
So first is 2 over 4 equal negative 1, negative 2, 3 over 5. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. So if you see here, 2 over 4 and 1 and over 2, it's, it's similar, right? But then at the third part, it's 3 over 5. So it's not equal. So we can say that this is not parallel. So parallel means all the direction numbers, it should be half the same ratio. Okay. So it's not parallel. And then take the, the other test, uh, test for uh, intersection. So you need to set the equations, set equations uh, for x, y, z. Meaning you have to make L1 equal L2 in all um, x, y, z. Okay. So first we can set the x, 3 plus 2t equal and then 4 minus t, and then 1 plus 3t equal 4 plus 5s. You can use any method to solve the linear equation. You can use the substitution, eliminations, uh, whatever. Uh, as long as you can get the relation between t and s, and then you try that relation in, under, in another equations, and use that to make sure that you can equal both of them. If they are not equal, they are not intersecting. But if they are equal, then it's intersecting. So for example, uh, I will go for, uh, let me write here. So let me write this 2t. So 2t, if I solve it, it will be, okay. so I will get t is 2s minus 1 from the first from the first equation. And then I will use this first equations, this t, I will bring back to here, and it will be four minus two s minus one, three minus two s. So I will get the s, right? But actually, when you are doing that, let me write this. 5, 3, it becomes 2, minus 2s, and minus 2s is 0, right? It's clearly, 2 is, is 2 equal 0, it's not, right? It should be same. So, by this point, you can just make a conclusion that it's not intersecting. So, by these two conclusion, you can say that these two lines are skewed. Okay? So, L1 and L2. This is a skew lines. But okay, I will write another case. If okay, if it is intersecting, sometimes the question will also will ask, is it perpendicular? Yeah, I think the uh, last discussion also we try to solve whether this is perpendicular or not, right? The best way to do it, uh, I think, goes through the uh, the dot product. So you can try uh, L1 dot uh, L2. It is, should be zero. So if you try, if you try our number here, uh, don't forget the dot, okay? the dot product, how to calculate them. So from this L1, L, L2, the dot product will be 2 and 4, right? 2, 4, plus negative 1, negative 2, for y, and then plus 3, 5. If you calculate all this value, 2, 4, 8, 8 plus 2, 10, 10 plus 15, it's not 0, right? So that means it's not. It's, it's not. Okay. 
Yeah, it's not intersecting. If it is intersecting, this is the question asking. Okay, if it is intersecting. So sometimes the question will also ask whether it is perpendicular or not. Okay. So why 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 this is zero? Because the dot product, if you remember, it's having a cos, right? Cos theta. Perpendicular means you get this right angle, right? So cos 90 is zero. So that's why you need to make it zero. Perpendicular. This is just to prove whether it is perpendicular or not. No, the third case, if it is intersecting, okay. you need to know whether it is intersecting. Or not. But this case, because we, this is not intersecting, of course it will not be perpendicular. But this is just to show you how to calculate the dot product. Okay? I bet mean, it's not too complex, right? Okay, we can go uh, further to the next sections. It is called the quadric surface. Uh, yeah. So if you so for, so this test, if it is not parallel, not intersecting, it's skew lines. You can just conclude to skew lines. But if it is intersecting, maybe the question is asking whether it is perpendicular or not. Then you need to to prove uh, the uh, cosine need to be ninety, right? So it needs to be. Yes, yes. Um, any, if you find any failure, you need just to solve it and make sure that it is equal. If not, then you can. It's just, it, it's just to happen that uh, I find this eventually 2 equals 0 here, right? Which means it's not true. So I, I just stop here and it's not equal. But sometimes you will find some value like t equals some number and s equals some number. Then you need to plug in the number to other equations and make sure it's equal or not. Okay, I think this is uh, not too complex, and we go for the complex one. <laughs> okay, it, I will uh, I will start with the uh, z equal x squared. Uh, this is in in third dimensions. Okay, can you imagine? Uh, you have the parabola. So this is parabola, right? This is parabola. Yes. And it is in third dimension. And you are asking, where is y, right? So if there is no y, then the y will be infinite, right? In all y-axis, this parabola will be. So the idea is will be, uh, let me draw, this is z, x, why? So, if I draw only z and x, okay, only z and x, I will get the parabola maybe, uh, yeah, maybe like that in two dimensions, right? So here, hmm. No, no, it is just I'm switching the perspective for the left side. So I will draw the real graph here. So first, I will draw some, this should be like this in two dimension, right? But because the y will be infinitely happening in the graph, right? So you need to draw all, so imagine there is a lot of parabola in Yes, 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 yes. So it will be like a cylinder, but it's it's in a parabola. Yeah, it's like this. Okay. So like a sheet of paper. Okay, and it will be infinitely long in y-axis. Okay, 
This is just the beginning. This is next level. <laughs> Not the complex one. This is just the beginning. We call this form. We call this form uh, cylinders. Uh, if you have a circle, so in also a third dimension, you have circle with the radius one, x squared y squared equal one. So if you using the only the two dimension, you can easily get this is the circle, right? But because this is in third dimensions and z is not mentioned in the equation, meaning z having the infinite, right? So meaning it's all z happening, the circle happening in all z. So before the x squared is happening in all y. That's why you have the long, long cylinders, okay? So is that a good R? Yeah, R. Meaning the real number with the double line. Still 12, but last part of 12. You will not say yes after I, 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 I give you another example. No, this is Who said yes? Some of the some of the graphs, some of the curve, it's easily to be understood because it's not really that complex. But some, it's really complex. It's, you need to have a good imagination. So this is a circle, okay? So imagine this is a circle in the x y. So I will have a lot of circle in the z axis, okay? So the axis will be the z, the the the, the total axis. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you just make like uh, you like uh. Tube, yeah. yeah, and then with, with a cir uh, uh, perfect circle, okay. But I will, of course, I will think to give you uh, not too complex one, I think. But let's see if you if you find difficult or not. Um, I think rather than I'm, I'm giving the over, like, Lily long overdue the explanations. I will give you the summary and then we can go use that summary to solve some examples. Because the summary itself it's already uh itself explain the graph itself. And yeah. I think it's quite understandable. So don't need to you don't need to be worried whether your graph is good or not. As long as you write the key points and then maybe you write the name of the shape because we have we will have several terms in the in the shape. Cylinder, cylinders. Infinite, infinite. <laughs> it's easy, right? Just make a circle, make a tube. Right? Easy, it's easy, easy. <laughs> After you get to the next, next questions. <laughs> so I will draw uh, the next terms. So I will write the form first, okay? 
the form will be x squared over a squared a means number okay like in ellipse you have the bottom right <laughs> okay and how you are going to draw the graph so first okay because if you close any of this x y or z for example if i close the x then only y over b and z over c right then it's just regular ellipse right you just draw that and make one of the variable each zero. So make x zero, make y zero, and z zero. For example, if x zero, then you get this, right? And this is just no normal ellipse. And then draw all the ellipse. I will draw. For example, in in the x and y, you will have like that. In the z and y you will have like that and then in the x and z you will have also <laughs> and then if you are imagine the three-dimensional shape it's like uh, a ball for rugby in the american football right yeah <laughs> so we call this shape an ellipsoid. Ellipse, ellipsoid. So all all the trace is ellipse. Okay. But if you have A is equal B is equal C, then you will have a perfect sphere. Sphere. If your A equal B equal C, it will become sphere. Okay. And then the axis, the axis, uh, the axis will be uh, the major one will be the largest value of A, B, C. So you you will have three different value, right? The largest one will be the major axis. The number, number. Like in ellipse. Okay. If you're confused, see this form, okay? See this form. Make sure, make sure you, you know that, okay? Why is the other one is bigger than one or is bigger than Ah, it's depend. It's just illustration. The drawing is just illustration. Yes, like a sphere, like a ball. Yeah. So like you remove the axis, like so imagine Yeah, 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 yeah. And then and then trace the all the. Okay. Draw like this is a sphere. Yeah. But you need to draw the outline. Okay, the outline. The largest value. The long one. It can be long in Z or Y or X, right? The long one, the greater value it is. So for example, if the C is great, greater than the A and B, meaning it will stretch to Z. Okay, it just like. Yeah. No, this is just for x equals zero. You need to go also for y equals zero and try z equals zero. So you have three lining, and you need to complete the drawing. With con you need to combine all the outline, and then you have like a rugby, American football. Okay. So. 
Maybe we continue. It's just like three D tridimension shape. So you have like an ellipse in every plane. Because it is not mentioning, it's, it 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 didn't mention right. That's why it's it's all in the in that part. Yes, it will be infinitely long. Okay, the second one. Okay, the form kind of similar but different. So the form will be x squared over a squared. But it is equal c squared. Okay. Okay. So it's similar to the ellipsoid, but it's not having the equal one. And it is, if you uh, put the z in the left side, the z will be negative sign, right? The z is in negative sign. So let me draw first the what the picture is. If z or this this side of z and z over c is having a number there, it will be an ellipse, right? So you will have an ellipse. Let me draw the, the bigger one. Yeah, it should be uh, intersect at the origin. So, the trace, okay, the trace, if you are, if, if y equals 0, or y, not 0, y equals some number, if y equals some constant, then... Uh, I can write this as let's let's say this is k. This is hyperbola, right? Okay. So if you have z equal k, you will have the the ellipse, right? Yes. You will have the ellipse on every level. Okay. In x squared minus z squared, it will be a hyperbola. Meaning the hyperbola is is uh, is having this this cross right here. So I will write here uh, the trace will be the horizontal will be an ellipse, and then the vertical trace is hyperbola, and then the axis it will be. Uh, the variable with negative sign. So it, it can be in any uh, models, right? For example, if the form becomes y squared over b squared plus z squared over c squared equal x squared over a squared, meaning it will be the axis, the x. So the cone will be in an x axis. So you can rotate the corn the cone. You can you can exchange this z over c squared. Yeah, and it will be the cone will be in the x axis. 
it's flip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's uh, this is the, the name is the uh, elliptical cone, but it can be also a circle. The it's not it, it can be not an ellipse. It it can be a circle, but usually it's an ellipse. Yes. The ellipse the ellipse should be in the x and y plane. Okay, it should be a little bit slight off, but yeah. I want to. I, I don't want to change the graph, but yeah. <laughs> you, you need to imagine that it should be in an x y plane, and then. Mm. The horizontal plane. Yeah, you can do that also. The same because the ellipsoid is is much more simpler than the others. I think this two is uh, among the. Simpler. You can also do like y equal k, and then you have other ellipses right inside the 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 huge ellipsoid. You can slice and make it small, small ellipse. And this also you can slice and make a small, small ellipse. Any number, any number. As long as a number, you can divide by that number to become one, right? <laughs> yeah. It, it, if you see the horizontal plane, it is ellipse in all level. In the vertical, it's hyperbole. So that's why it has the. You remember the asymptote, the hyperbole it's having the cross in the middle. So the hyperbole is in the in the side. Yeah, it's it, it become. Yeah, you can flip, and it will be the same concept, the same principle. Okay, so before I go to the next section, um, all of this two, it, the assumption is the center is zero zero zero. Okay, you can change the center. Uh, for example, in the first one, it can be x minus usually h, right? H. It's possible it, you, you you can shift the shift the uh, center, and also this become x. The form still is the same. What you need to change is just you can shift the center. This this the mid, this zero 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 you can shift. Eh, wrong, wrong, wrong. This should be equal. If you shift the center, oh. I will get into that in the last part. Okay? Confused? Good. What? <laughs> what is this? C minus? L L H K L is this news the center, but actually it is applied for another with other forms also. So what you need to remember is just assume all in the zero zero zero, and then later if if you need to to shift the center, you just plug in the the new center. Okay, bye bye. Good goodbye. Goodbye. As long as you can um, determine the equations and you can get the equations and you know that equations may be in the sum terms in our drawing. If it is not asking to draw, you just need to conclude oh the shape will be ellipsoid. No need to draw. Okay, finish? There are still one, two, three, four, five, five more drawing, <laughs> five more equations.
Okay. Okay. Five more, really? Five more. Okay. So the next form I will write the form will be x So this is the form. So if you have, for example, uh, making z is equal to 0, you will get an ellipse, right? Ellipse. If you get, uh, try to make x equal 0, you will get a hyperbola. The same thing, y equals 0, you will get also another hyperbola. Right? So, uh, focus on the hyperbola. So, yz, the hyperbola in yz. So, for example, it's here. And then the xz, xz is uh, here and here, okay. Mm, it's not, it should be like this, yeah. And then the last part is when z is equal to zero is ellipse, right? So, this hyperbola will be the become the side and it will have the ellipse so it should be like this Okay. Wait, wait. It's it's bad. <laughs> Sorry. It should be like this. So yeah, this is the part, the hyperbola. This is also the hyperbola. Should be like this. It is called hyperboloid uh, of one. One sheet. Oh, ellipse, right? So it has ellipse in all the level, and its side is the part, the hyperbola. This ellipse, right, in the middle, it's all ellipse in all level. If it is equal. Zero. Okay. The axis is the the negative sign uh, variable uh, with the negative sign. So in this case, because the negative sign is on Z, it will be in Z. But you can also switch the axis, so it can be Y the negative, so it will be on the Y axis. Oh, the hyperbola, also remember the negative side, okay? It will determine the which, which hyperbola you will use, in top down or left side, right, the, the negative sign. Hyperbola. Okay, the, this is the third one, the fourth.
the form will be uh, So the difference from the previous one and the new one here, the negative sign is 2, minus, minus, and the positive one on the Z, right? So the same thing, you can uh, make it x equals 0, y equals 0, uh, z equals 0. If you make z equals 0, it's become uh, an ellipse. If you make the x equals 0, it will be z minus y. That's the uh, hyperbola. Also, y equals 0, it's z minus x, also hyperbola. So it will be on top and down. So. Yes, it's minus minus, right? It's actually minus, and you can make it like a positive one. So you have uh, two sets of hyperbola, um, and along that hyperbola, Imagine it, it has an ellipse, 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 ellipse in all level. So it, it, it is like a bowl, like a bowl, like this. It's having the, this hyperbola and this hyperbola, right? So this is ellipse in all level, right? Uh, this ellipse. So it's be, this is becoming like that and it's also becoming like this so horizontal ellipse and also hyperbola this is also the same ellipse and hyperbola. The axis is the positive sign. A variable with positive sign. So in this case, it's, it's Z, the positive Z, right? That's the axis of the graph. But again, you can also switch the axis. So it can be in X or in Y. We call this form, uh, the name is similar, hyperboloid of a uh, two sheet. Is this not yet the complex? There's a, the last one is the most complex. Yeah, I, I'm also dif having difficulty drawing. <laughs> Finish. And again, in all in all drawings, you can shift the center, okay, to another center. Which one? The what if X? Let me let me write. In, in a clear way, so variable. Yes? Hmm? X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Yes. Yeah, axis. X, Y, Z. Um, probably I will give you like uh, I get some good summary of all this, like a table. Maybe I will send to you later. Okay, finish.
finish lost feeling lost uh, um, I will give you some examples uh, later on okay. yes you will have the you have an equation and you will you need to determine what shape will the equation will be at least at least <laughs> <laughs> of course I will give you like for example if you need to draw I will give you like not really complex not, not so really complicated yes until chapter 12 of course in include but only the key the key uh, the, the key chapters on that 10 and 11 yes 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 so you need to have a good good visualization in your mind before you make the graph because sometimes when you graph you will get lost if you don't know how to imagine this shape the, the whole shape um the next will be oh i think this is the the simple one we did the, at the beginning This is just uh, <laughs> Why? What happened? Oh, okay. So the new term is on the 26th. Hmm? 24. 23. 23. Yay. Exactly one week after today. <laughs> <laughs> you should have a longer time. <laughs> okay, to review, this is the, the very early uh, shape that I show to you is the cylinders so basically it's only having the uh, two variables okay it can be x y or x z or y z you can rotate also the different it can be an ellipse in the top and the bottom yeah uh, the same 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 the, the difference on the, the it's ellipse or circle here, this top and down, it can be an ellipse. It's also ellipse. Or if A and B is equal, it's circle. Yeah. Yeah, circle. Um... I think no. I think no. Yeah. 
Ya, yeah, silinder, silinder. So, bro, yes. Number two, what's the name? Hmm? Number two is which one? Elliptical cone. No, no, no. Huh? Yeah, it's the same cylinder, cylinder. But this is circular cylinder. Hmm. No, no definitive names. You can just write uh, also cylinders. <laughs> if there is no specific names, you can write the cylinders. Hmm? So the axis is the variable that is not in the equation. For example, in this case, the z1. It, you can also switch X, Y, Z. Okay. The next one, uh, you have the form X square, Y square, and only Z. So if you have Z is equal some number, you'll get this is the ellipse right if your y is 0 it will be like this right so what is this yeah yeah parabola parabola Also, x is zero. It will be uh, also parabola, right? So you have parabola in x, z, and y, z. Mm. Maybe that. Yeah, and also here. Mm, sometimes you need to yeah, yeah. that's the the one way to trace all the informations so you need to make sure you can uh, for example you can make it a zero or make it some constant number imagine one two three oh wait so it will be like this. We call this uh, because it has ellipse and parabola. It call it will be called elliptic, uh, maybe wait, wait. elliptic paraboloid. <laughs> So the axis, the axis will be variable without squared. In this case, it's z, right? So if it is x, then you can also change the axis, right? And then uh, another part, if C is uh, positive, it will be open up like this, or negative, it will be uh, up and down, meaning it's, it's, it's facing the negative side. Yeah, and then you can flip if it is negative, yeah. 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 So the, the axis will be uh, the variable without squared. Okay. 
squared squared two two with the order of two. I'm explaining all of this in my simplest way. If you read the textbook, you will not understand what it is because it's used really difficult terms. Yeah, I'm using like there is no minus. If there is minus, then it will be the axis. If there is a square, then it will be the axis, right? It's much more easier rather than use the long word in the textbook. But you can you can you can check the textbook and check how how my explanation is. <laughs> if you're if you think the textbook is too difficult, then you need to my suggestion is uh, make your own summary with your own understanding. That way you will understand the chapters whole full, hopefully. If you are just taking notes, taking picture without even a, any understanding at all, then you won't be understand at all. So you need to try to make, if you, if you not understand your own notes, you need to make your own notes based on what you are understanding. Okay. Try to make your uh, summary like maybe make a table, uh, make some notes that it's really important which one. And maybe you can relearn watching the YouTube videos. Okay. 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 I will go to the, the last part. The last part. The last drawing. Sir, just do what the other class do. Just give us a Okay. Yeah, perfect, right? No. No, 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 no. Then I understand it. Yeah. Difficult schedule. You need to face it a lot in the future. Okay. It's difficult. No, no, no. Yes. three chapters. And we only have one week to study the new chapter. Yes. And it's hard. I mean, this is all kind of easy. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes in, your, in, in life, you need to accept something that you don't like. Okay? <laughs> you need to have acceptation in your heart. Okay? Something that you don't like. You need to face reality. Okay? Maybe three. Maybe maybe seven on or eight. Seven or eight. Hmm? Maybe three, two, three. Or two, two, three, three. Two is chapter ten, three is eleven, another three is twelve. Or maybe two, two, four is also possible. <laughs> maybe one, maybe one. Okay, last drawing. Okay, last drawing. Last drawing. <laughs> okay, last drawing is this. So you have uh, x squared and then minus y squared and then z without squared. Yeah, this is this is the most difficult part to draw. If z is constant, you get the hyperbola, right? You need to you get the hyperbola on all level depends on k okay and then if uh, if y equals zero you get this parabola right and also if you get yeah wait a little bit delay. This is also parabola. And then the drawing.
So first, first see the xz plane. So this is the xz plane. This is yz plane. So xz plane, I will have the parabola. And then yz plane, I have the other parabola, but because it's minus, it should be facing the negative side, right? So it will have, you have this, right? And then the, the, Hyperbola part, this is hyperbola, okay, in xy, xy plane. Yeah, it's difficult to draw, so imagine uh, I have uh, here and here, because it will be on the all level, okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is quite difficult. And then the parabola the in the in the bottom, it's also having another parabola here. So if you if you get to uh, uh, try to if you try to to combine all, it will be. Oh my god, what is this? Yes. <laughs> I will make an a, a black outline to make the all the shape necessary. Uh, what are those? <laughs> oh my god, my god, my god. Okay. Have you riding a horse? Yeah. 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 yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay, like that. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Saddle. Saddle. Yeah. Okay. So it's it is called. Uh, Hyperbolic paraboloid. <laughs> yeah, and determine which one. And also the factors, line, plane, it's chapter 12, factors and geometry of space. So this part is actually the end section of all the factors and space. So the school provides common right? The school provides common What do you mean? Like Like counseling for what? Yes, yes, you can go for Yeah, because I, I have friends that also try to talk. Yeah, you can yeah. also try. For you or for your friend? Oh. After next Oh. Why, why? You have pessimist, not the, be optimist. Okay. Okay, finish? Uh, I will write some notes. Um, oh, the x. Oh, yeah. Let me write the axis first. So axis. Uh, so axis will be variable uh, that is not squared. Uh, in this case, the z. So it can be <laughs> and how the parabola face is depends on the negative sign. Oh. 
so if you have the C, C will be opens up, and then if you have negative, it will opens down. Just flip it from top to bottom. Or maybe if you are having difficulty to make the flip side of the saddle, maybe you can just flip the axis and make it this negative. <laughs> that also possible. Yeah. That also possible. <laughs> Yeah, that's also possible. So, how you try to understand the paper? Please turn the paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even draw this. I can't even draw this. Can I just write, please turn the paper? You can just write, it is upwards. I can't even draw Okay, some notes. Some notes. Actually, the long the long term equation, if you include all, So this is the the long term equations. So meaning all all that we have done, we can put into the really long equation and just make the constant some constant zero. We can make all of our equations. So uh, a b c. This is a constant. This is just notes, okay? You can, you can have like a long formula, and then if you want to know the shape of that form, you can reduce that long term and finding the standard form and make the form in our uh, table summary. Okay. Uh, this is just. Uh, the uh, the long term equations. So, so, so actually, in in the in the real graph, some of the part is zero. Like this part, maybe is zero. Maybe this part is zero. Okay. So you you will not get like a whole long term equation. This is just the general equation for quadric surface. General equations. So from A to J. General equation for all, for all. So in 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 some parts, like for example, in cylinders, you only have like two squared and a constant, and you can make all zero, right? <laughs> Which one? Uh, it's for simulation for modeling, basically. Yeah. Uh, like for example. You can imagine the modeling for satellites. For satellites, how how the satellites will cover the range for for its detections. You can also imagine that using simulations. But that's for the advanced like simulations. Or maybe your um, I remember you have you have in. Maybe 20 years ago, or maybe 30 years ago, you have a thing called parabola, right? To receive the, for your t televisions, before the internet, right? Before the internet connections. And that is based on the quadric surface, right? The parabola, like the, like the elliptical parabola, but it's circular. Okay, let me give you some examples. Okay, because I think you already get lost. So, example. Uh, so, I will give you like uh, simple equations that you can trace. Actually, you can trace easily. So, uh, trace and sketch. 
first x squared plus z squared equal 1 I think this is easy, easy right? Yes. So the y is not there, so it has to continue the whole way. Yes. So it's gonna be like a cylinder, right? Yes, cylinder, yeah. No, the exercise is going easy, but the test is So it will be a cylinder, right? So there is no y, right? There is no y in the equation, so it will be continuous along y-axis, and it is a circle, so it's a cylinder, a circular cylinder, or just you, you can say just a cylinder, that's also fine. And then the other a z equal 1 minus y squared. This is also simple. Yeah, it has parabola. And then the same principle with yes, yes. Should we always draw the the line, or can we just skip them? Uh, defense, defense. It's up to you. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But because it's minus, it's flip out. Right? So <coughs> there is no x, right? So the x will be the axis, like the previous one. This is the axis, right? And then uh, z always. If you are seeing the equation, z always less or equal one at least, right? If y is zero, z is one. So the maximum number for z is one. So it's just like uh, having the parabola. So z, let's make 1 here, and y, it can be 1 and negative 1, the intersection point, or, or the root for our parabola. Okay, remember the root? Yeah. So it's like that. Yeah, infinite. So why won't we just say y squared? What? You can say mi minus y squared plus one. So z always has to be Yeah. You can imagine the z. Say three. Say it was three minus y squared. Y squared. It would be three units. Yes. Okay, so we're going good still. Does it go to x and then negative? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Why? Why negative? I think it's all x. No, yes. why? The x and all the entire. Yes, yes. Let me draw like this. Do we need to draw that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do this, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Simple, yeah. Sometimes, but depends on the question. If the question is asking only the form shape, then you just define the shape. Sometimes it's asking the, the equations, like you have long equation and you need to. To make it a standard form, oh right? My Lord. <laughs> why? Why? Like, and if you practice, why? If you practice, it's very simple. Yeah, that is so when. In exam, you see some some way of shaping. <laughs> 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 
That's that's life. No, 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 that's not life. That's true. It's like one doctor said, there's another baby. But this is what you're going to do. Yeah, you can engineer the answer, <laughs> but sometimes it's not worth it. Okay, finish? The, I give you this, the third question. Um, the third question will be x, y equal 1. It's on, like only x, y equal 1. So there is no yeah it's parable. There is no z right. So z will be our main line for the axis. And then what what can we do now? Uh, let's try to draw the Cartesian first, the three dimensional Cartesians. And then. Let's see this, the equation first, x, y equal 1. So the larger x, the y will be decreased, right? So I can write x equal 1 over y, and y is 1 over x. So if I have x is 10, then the y will be 1 over 10, right? If you try to uh, plug in some number, from this x and y, uh, you will get like this, right? Right? The, 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 the largest x, the smallest y, the largest y, the smallest x, right? This is for the positive value, but it can be also, if x is negative, and y also can be negative, right? So it should be negative, negative. So that will be in the the other side here. So this is uh, negative y, this is negative x. The number is up to us? Yes. It is, it is not uh, bounded to some number, so you, it will be in all possible number. Yeah. So these two curve, imagine it will be, you stretch this and make it a long line in z. So like you are folding a paper, and imagine the paper is really long along the Z line. Oh, it's along the Z. Oh. Yes. Maybe I will give you uh, so it's two. two. Different yeah, two different things. It's not connected? Yes. There is no specific terms. <laughs> so the terms that you learned before, that is specific on that shape. And if there is no like like this shape then it is just a simple uh, how to say maybe you can call it like a cylinder but it's not really a cylinder yeah 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 okay 
Yeah, just rough sketch, rough sketch. If if you need to sketch it roughly, that will be fine. So would there any would there be like Uh, I will give you like a reasonable question for your exams, so it's not like really long, over complicated. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. But maybe I will give you like like a bonus question, and then it. Yeah. It should be unreasonable. So do you recommend that we study? I'm. I suggest you can study. You can study it from the textbook, as expect, uh, especially the review, the review part, okay. and exercising these, the, all the, maybe like a, some key key points on the review. Yeah, sometimes that it will also help because it's really conceptual, like. Sometimes difficult, right? The the the, the red right one. So so like would you you said that you would bring back like a lot of the key concepts of chapters and things like that. I realize I took a bit less and didn't include things like um uh I'm a con like you know what's actually would you is there like a higher chance you put in like in line with cons of this exam as well as essential? If there is like that polar curve I will give you the picture. Oh, I didn't tell us if I need Yeah, yeah. Like, all the picture I will give, and then you just need to worry about the boundary. You need to find the boundary from that picture. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. So so, exactly. so so the homework will be the Tuesday. I will give some uh, another course that Tuesday, but the Wednesday part will be the presentation. Would it be like digital? I mean, like um, think of uh, what person? What do you mean, one person? Every individual. Yeah, every individual person. But uh, I think we need to two days at least. So Wednesday and the next Tuesday, I will randomly. Choose among you. Oh, I'm sure. Like online, you said that we should watch the video to understand the next homework. But I didn't. I think like, what is the next homework? Is this the next homework? So like, what homework was to write like the paper? The same, the same, the same homework. The next one was to do the speech thing. It, actually, that was one part. Like combine. It's, it's for homework one and then presentation one, right? So now it's homework two and presentation two. Oh, this one, this is, this is homework the, two. Yeah, homework two. two. Yeah. The, so the next article that you can find. Oh, yeah, so did, oh, you uploaded the second, this, the second comma already? Yeah, I already, or you can ask which one. I, I already put in the file the guideline for the homework. Would you also be doing a presentation of this? Uh, the, the, so to me, like, I, I found the online online videos like, really helpful. Okay. Like, like, when I studied it, I was like, oh, like, oh. Yeah, so some. Like okay, okay. So for the presentations, uh, you can prepare, but because because when you present like the first presentations, I didn't record all, so it's just presentation orally. You can just present with the uh, the homework you wrote in the in the, in the in the front, or maybe you can write another simple or maybe it's like a uh, key points like a. In the, in the in the slides, that's also possible. Oh, so wait, do I, am I, uh, are, is the content that I submit graded? Like, are my transit span materials as well as calculus con, uh, assignments graded? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be graded. I I, I already grade, and I I already show like yesterday. Oh. I will show tomorrow, uh, next Tuesday. Okay, uh, I will give you maybe, if we, if possible, two more questions, example. Um, so use uh, traces 
to sketch z equal four uh, x squared plus yeah. <laughs> if you if you don't remember, try to make z x or y zero or some numbers, and then try to trial an error for the graph. You can try one by one, roughly sketch, and you can find. Yes. <laughs> So you can check, like, for example, if the z is 0, it will be, uh, oh, wait, not z, x. If x is 0, then z is 4y squared. It's parabola. Parabola in, uh, in the y, z plane. And also, if we put y equals 0, this is also parabola. Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if z is constant, so 4x squared plus y squared, it will be k, and then it will be an ellipse. So that's why it's elliptical parabolic. So if we trace all the informations, So in, in the yz plane, we have the z, y squared, maybe that. And then in xz plane, we have uh, maybe that. And then the ellipse. Yeah, more or less. Yeah, it's it's slightly off to the right side, but it should be uh, symmetrical. Yeah, draw. <laughs> yeah. Because the coordinates, you see. Um, yeah. Sometimes you don't need to write because it's already in general form. Y Z plane, see only Y Z and draw the parabola, and see X Z and draw the parabola, and then draw the ellipse. <laughs> huh? Y Z, yeah. The red one, XZ, the parabola. Yeah, try to use imaginations. What's it? Yeah. Open up because Z is positive. That will be slightly different. 
if you um, if there is another constant the constant will be in the z right uh, yeah depend on the gradient gradient right yeah the four one over four it can be small and it big yeah. okay uh yeah i can give you one more let me check the other questions that maybe Okay, one more, one more question, maybe. Um, well, it's, I think it's it's finished. Okay, yes. okay. Let's just continue next. Just stay for some other examples. Okay. <laughs>